Well, welcome to the um, first 2023 meeting of the Finance Committee. Um, we do not have to adopt the meeting minutes because there were no meeting minutes from last meeting, as I remember. Um, and Portia, you'll correct me if I venture off because I don't have my uh, my my sheet. But I believe there's yeah. one there's one uh, there's one tell police that's on right, and it's the uh, Saint John's Episcopal Police out in in Rockaway. We haven't done a tell police in a long time, Portia. So it's nice to uh, to see one. I recognize this is a little bit different than the typical tell. So um, I, I'm I'm assuming you're going to present. Yep, happy happy to do that. And Jerry, there are also um, minutes from the November eighth Finance Committee. Okay, so I'll go back and do that then. Thanks, Portia. So then I need a motion to recommend approval of the November 8th meeting minutes. So moved. The Finance Committee. So moved. Did you do that back in December? I thought you did. But I think I did. But all right, we'll, we'll adopt them anyway. All in favor, aye. Yeah. Aye. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so back to tell. So the record's clear on that, Jerry. There was no Finance Committee meeting in December. So we still had the outstanding November committee meeting minutes uh, from the Finance Committee to approve. Okay. Got so it. That's what okay, thanks. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, um, so we have before you for consideration uh, a TELP transaction on behalf of St. John's Episcopal Hospital um, in the Far Rockaways in an amount not to exceed $26.25 million for various HVAC and other kinds of um, equipment. Uh, the equipment list is listed on the second page of the materials before you, but includes things like steam to hot water conversion, air handling unit replacement, water system upgrades. Um, this is the first transaction under the initiative between construction and public finance to assist our private clients undertake energy performance contracting. Um, there are a few items of note for the committee members. Um, St. John's Episcopal is a going concern um, and that has been uh, since 2016. Their payer mix is 45% Medicare, 45% Medicaid, and 10% uh, commercial and other payers. Um, working with the Department of Health in DASNY, St. John's Episcopal has a healthcare restructuring pool loan in the amount of $17.9 million. Um, so St. John's Episcopal Hospital is financially challenged. Um, you know, as a result, the security package that you have before you for this TELP transaction is more extensive than what we typically see when we have undertaken other TELP transactions where the equipment is security. In this case, uh, the security package includes a first lien on the revenues, including a first lien on the special revenue account that's set up through which debt service will be paid. Uh, there's also a first mortgage lien on the hospital campus, which will be on parity with the mortgage that secures the healthcare restructuring pool loan. Um, there's a lease payment reserve fund in the amount of $750,000. In essence, it's like a debt service reserve fund. And also the, the healthcare restructuring pool loan will be subordinate to the TELP lease. Um, energy savings are expected to be about a million dollars a year, which will offset the debt service, which is expected to be about $2.8 million a year. The TELP program, as you know, is, is basically a private placement and as such is really a good vehicle um, to assist institutions like St. John's Episcopal Hospital. From a big picture perspective, the state is providing financial flexibility here with respect to the healthcare restructuring pool loan, um, which really enables a private lender to come in and make financing available for really much needed improvements. So from a policy perspective, um, you know, it, this, is a, this is a good transaction for the institution. Um, DOH supports the transaction. Um, they, they, will, they will have their comments tomorrow um, at the board meeting. And that concludes my remarks, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you very much, Portia. Uh, will, 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 uh, will Ken Evans actually, uh, on the record, support this transaction? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you, Portia. Yep. Um, just, just for the record, I don't think there's any conflict, but I sit on the, uh, the, uh, the city council's uh, or the local city council members' a task force on uh, healthcare in the Rockaways. Um, I'm assuming, Sarah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I have no question. 
conflict goal. I had nothing. Did we go up to record development? Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I, and and, and I, I am familiar with St. John's, and, and, and they do a, a yeoman's job down there under very difficult circumstances. So I certainly am, am, am supportive. I, I did have a question, though, Portia. The list, unlike our, like a lot of the other TELP financings, it, it's sort of, I'm not going to say vague, but it's not very, very specific. I guess as this process proceeds, the list of what actually is being um, um, purchased and 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 who they're purchasing from, that information will eventually be reviewed by either you or the Department of Health or somebody? No, so the, the lender is listed there. It's m and um, and, you know, I had mentioned at the December board meeting um, that staff was really looking at the TELP financing process and looking to create more consistency between the way in which we provide information to the board for TELP to make it more consistent with the way that we provide information for the bond deals. Um, so the listing of equipment is there. I understand what you're saying. I think also part of it Jerry, is the nature of the equipment. You know, in some instances previously, there were very specific and sort of discrete equipment purchases. And we would say, you know, there were going to be two of these or 20 of those. I think the nature of what we're undertaking here is a little bit different given that, you know, these are energy performance, um, energy performance measures basically. Um, but, the, but the types of equipment that are there, they, they are listed on that second page. But, but to, in regard to the specificity of the, of the pieces, you know, they'll later as this process proceeds, someone will have their, the information, right? Somebody will be yes. uh, buying them, right? Right. Absolutely. Thank uh, you, Portia. Uh, uh, Portia, might, might we know a bit more about, I don't know the Brockways, and I'm, I'm not suggesting for a second that, that uh, we, we have any reason to question the transaction more than we already have. But what what's the catchment area? Who, who, who are the people served the, by? The, the, the Rockaways? Chair is a pretty broad based yes. on the economic spectrum. Okay. From the West End to the East End. Okay. The West End being sort of on a higher economic scale, and the East End more on the lower economic scale. Is that scale. right? Okay. Right. Years ago, and it's the hospital was sort of there were two main hospitals on the peninsula. Peninsula Hospital Center was one. I actually think they had a trauma center there. Okay. Um, and then St. John's Episcopal was the other, the other hospital in the area. A number of years ago. People will argue back and forth whether it was the right decision or not. They closed Peninsula Hospital. In fact, Peninsula Hospital is now being redeveloped as a large scale um, um, affordable housing development. Okay. Um, many folks in the Rockaways believe that was a mistake. Um, I might be one yeah. of them, but it doesn't matter. That time has passed. And St. John's is the only hospital ah, on the peninsula. Okay. There is no trauma center there. It handles a lot of, uh, I'm going to say, you know. Um, Trauma cases from gunshot wounds to a lot of difficult cases that's handled in, in St. John's. The main trauma center is over at Jamaica Hospital, which is to get out of the Rockaways, you have to go over the a bridge. And it takes a while. I'll take you 45, 50 minutes to go 10 miles. Wow. So. wow. Okay. So Episcopal is really the, the main hospital out there. And they don't get a lot of, uh, unfortunately, they don't get a lot of um, uh, you know, private pay, private. A lot of the hospitals in Brooklyn suffer from a similar type, I think, uh, of issue where they, they don't get a lot of private um, uh, insurance. They get money. Medicaid. Money. They get Medicaid and Medicaid. And yes. Medicare. Yes, right. When right. they look. So you know, they 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 the very difficult circumstances. They do a very okay. Uh, All right. Job. Um, some of the doctors actually live in one of the couple of buildings we <laughs> built out there and by the sea. Um, but so you know, they're they're so I I agree strongly support this. I've just had the question about what sure. we were actually sure. purchasing. I don't know if that's really any need any more specificity about it. I'd be more than happy to, to give you what I know. Are you calling for a vote? I want to call for a uh, recommend approval of this at tomorrow's full board meeting. Thank you very much. Earl absolutely oh well, you're not on the I'm not on the board. I'm just hanging out. Janice is up there somewhere. Thank you, Janice. Um Al second thank you. All in favor aye aye, aye. any opposed Hearing none, that motion carries. So unless anyone has any other questions, or Portia, I'm missing something that was on my sheet. Uh, no, 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 no. Look for a motion to uh, to adjourn. So moved. Thank you very much. All in favor, aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you all very much. We'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.